Okay, hi, welcome now to our last and fourth video on the Spiel Healy box. And in this video I will show you how to use the Spiel Healy box as an interface between the PC and your BSC in order to actually flash the BL Healy code of Steffen into your BSC. So that's our BL Healy box and I've attached that's my hardware here. I've attached already this adapter to it. The first thing we need to do is to connect the BL Healy box to the PC. The second thing we have to do is to connect it to the BSC, which is done already here, and of course to power up everything which I'm doing now. So all this is as before. We have our BL Healy box operational connected to the BSC. Now we want to flash a new code into the BSC. And this we do by this Windows uh, tool program which I've called BL Healy tool. And the first thing we do again is to set the uh, right COM port here. And then we switch to the second tab over here which allows you to flash the BL Healy code. And the first thing to do is to choose the right hex file and for the demonstration purposes here I will use the let's say the tail and um, build Healy code the revision 6 of the tail and so I've chosen now the hex file I want to flash and now I'm doing the flash and this is simply done by hitting this flash button over here and you can watch when on the Windows PC you will see some status comments coming up here as well you will see that the BL Healy box will switch into the Silproc mode for as long as it's needed. So I'm hitting now the flash button. So the flash is going to start now. You see that the box switches into the Silproc mode and on this Windows PC program you can see that the flash is actually going on. So we are now in the process of flashing this hex file into this PC. This takes a couple of times, a couple of seconds, so we will have to wait. But now you can see here that the Windows program told you that the flash was done. The uh, Beal Healy box now shows again the name, but since we have done a fresh flash, the name will be empty, and that's exactly what you can see here. Now we can do a verify that everything has worked well by hitting this verify button, but usually everything works well, so we don't have to do that. Now we can read, so this actually had been already everything to flash the code. We are done by that already. But in order to double check everything we can go on the Windows program into the setup mode and do a read. So we do our read now. It's going on now and this was a read. And now you can see on the Windows program that the read had been done and that the parameters are showing up. But you can see that this parameter field looks differently as it had been looking in the third video. And that's because for the tail mode of this Bill Healy code, there are just fewer parameters available. Now we can also look into our Bill Healy box and can browse through the parameters. And we will see that we now have available exactly the right parameters, namely the parameters which we need for the tail mode. We also can go into the submenu, namely by pressing this button here for long, which allows us to enter the submenu. And you can see now all the details, the microprocessor, uh, that we still have the XP3E, 3ABC, but that we still have a revision 6, but that now we have the tail mode installed. So we can go back to the main menu and do now everything. Uh, just as a, as a test example, I will change now the name. Uh, I will change it to uh, my favorite test suite name. I will do now the right. So we do now the right. It's going on now. The right is finished and now you can see that the name has been indeed changed. Uh, so this is just the last demonstration, the actually flashing of the 
of the code was very simple. We just go into the Spiel Healy tool uh, program, set the right tab, choose the hex file we want to flash, hit the flash button, and then we just have to wait for a few seconds and everything's done. So this was the last video on the Beal Healy box. I hope you had fun and I hope you have seen that it's quite simple to operate and I wish you a good day. Goodbye.